Okay, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys of all ages of the uh, Gas Pressure Appliance Collecting Society. Here we are. This is our first light up on this arc lamp. This guy's over 100 years old. I'm as nervous as a cat. Uh, been horsing around for about an hour trying to get up the nerve to do this. <laughs> first rule of survival in this hobby is always do your first light up outside. If you do it in the kitchen or your workshop, chances are you're going to burn down your house and kill your dog. So anyway, here we are on the front porch. Um, quick rundown. We use the terms Instalight, Matchlight, Quick Light, and probably don't appreciate why those terms are so significant unless you go all the way back to the beginning. This lantern and the 319 are what were called torch light lanterns, meaning you had to get a lot of heat on the generator for a while before the thing would fire. You needed something called a torch. Um, I made my own torch. Uh, if anybody's interested, I'll do a tutorial later on how to make your own. Um, you dip the torch in a volatile fluid that will burn. I would not suggest using white gas or natural gas or automotive gas um, a little too explosive the best thing is some sort of alcohol isopropyl rubbing alcohol in uh, in my case I'm using uh, <laughs> some homemade alcohol about 170 proof um, so this is it here we go you dip the torch put a little bit of alcohol on it Set it aside so if it dumps, you don't burst in flames. Light the torch. There we go. The, this is open. Insert the torch. Put it around the generator. And you let it set for a while. It's got to heat up. Now, I only got about a half a pint of uh, fuel in here. Just in case it blows up, I don't want to die. Now, look at this. We're getting some sort of burn already. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's something in the in the generator. Okay, I'm going to crank it open. See, oh, look at that baby. There we go. That's like it's burn a little bit hot. Come on, come on, you can do this. Come on, oh, sweetheart. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Here we go. I guess I could have left the torch on a little bit longer. I had raw fuel dumping into the mantles instead of vapor. Um, I haven't fired one of these up for over 20 years. Last last one I had was 20 years ago, so I, I, I don't really remember exactly the characteristics. Here we go. The mantles are starting to glow nice and white as the generator heats up. Uh, I'm farting around with the control here to see what we're doing. All right, there we go. That's pretty good. I like this a lot. I am I am blessed to be the current caretaker of this lantern. These guys, we really don't own them. We're just caretakers. Uh, this has probably outlived two or three of its previous owners, caretakers. It's probably going to outlive me, so somebody's going to get passed on to somebody else. Hope they take good care of it, too. Um, these things truly are an American treasure. It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> I love this stuff. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to let it burn for a while. Uh, oh, yeah, look at this. It's, it's uh, heating up, and, and, the, and the mantles are glowing whiter and whiter. So I assume... Now, once the generator gets good and hot enough to temperature, this sucker could be really bright. If we were at night, this would probably light up the whole backyard. Oh, here's an interesting thing. Did you know the first nighttime football game was illuminated by Coleman Lanterns? They had poles all the way down the field, lanterns hanging on it, and they played football under lantern light. All right, tell that to your grandkids at Super Bowl. <laughs> Thanks, guys and girls. Have a good one. Bye.